ladies and gentlemen here we have mr s apau general secretary nfe former electrical inspector government of tamil nadu he is an electrical engineer certified energy auditor and a freelancer in advising electrical safety and earthing practices his expertise includes the electrical installation design practices of lv and mv installation as per cea regulations he conducts electrical safety audit electrical accident and fire cause analysis with warm greetings we welcome you sir to deliver the opening remarks to the gathering the podium is all yours sir good morning everybody say good morning uh, i am delighted to be here to welcome you all we are all know that right to live is the fundamental thing fundamental right enshrined on every citizen under article 22 of the constitution of 21 under the constitution of india but on the other hand we have a day to day incidents of electrocutions as well as fire due to electrical hazards it's becoming a worrying factor and we should be aware that the recent judgment of the supreme court of order of the supreme court of india that electricity being a hazardous nature of entity it is inbuilt with hazards so whoever erects or installs or associated with the electrical works are all strictly liable the strict liability is something it's not like a negligence whoever done it has to bear the liability that's a recent trend we hope that such a judgment would make the awareness as well as the, as the responsibility of all the stakeholders in this noble field for ensuring safety to the citizen of india so we the national federation of engineers for electrical safety feel proud to be here in organizing the second edition at chennai with the august support of larson and tabro we thank you larson and tabro for your uh, exhaustive and a pleasing atmosphere of having this meet today so i welcome all the delegates who have come from all the way to this workshop to this training session uh, importantly i welcome sri the guest of honor the chief guest sri k p shan had mep cbna lnt construction b and f sir we are greatly indebted to you apart from your uh, great busy schedule you have come all the way and i would like to welcome uh, ms ji bhavani head chennai branch office bas because bas and the ca are always supporting us they are the catalyst for us to have this uh, uh, series of uh, training sessions and i welcome mr gopakumar who is, who is playing a pivotal role for this series of seminars and who has uh, founded the senior Uh, the, uh, this uh, N E N F W E S, and I welcome Mr. Uma Mageshwar Rao, Superintendent Engineer, Regional Inspectorial Organisation from C E A, uh, is in charge of Southern Region Chennai. I welcome you, sir, and I also welcome Mr. Uh, Chris Theobald, the young energetic. I don't know where is he, <laughs> the young energetic uh, engineer. We have a bright future. He is in twenties 
acting like a person of 60s. So, the unbound knowledge I should welcome. Another thing, uh, the sponsors and uh, all the people from uh, Cape Electric, Sir Bender India, and Sure Safety, Solar Instruments, and most importantly, our founder, our uh, one of the founder members, Mr. K.P. Dominic, the Blue and Grey Associates, who is strongly supporting our activities. And uh, I also welcome the presenters, Mr. Uh, from Polycab, Jayab Jayavati, he is also one of the uh, uh, sponsors for this event, Mr. Dev Jayal Mukherjee and Mr. Jaravanan from Sravan from Cape Electric and Mr. Uma Shankar Prasad Yadav, DDG BAS and Mr. Ashok Anand, Chief Engineer Manager Electrical, Mr. Ramachandra Nimborgi, Head Data Center, l &T Construction, Mr. Alexander Paul, Managing Director, Kausi Technical Services. So with this, I, I do not want to consume more time. We will be deliberating much on the uh, uh, technical part of the session. So I welcome you all and all the delegates. A happy welcome and good morning, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for gracing the event with your presence. Respected dignitaries, beloved guests, and my dear audience, to deliver the welcome address, we're delighted to welcome our head, MEP Design, HRC SBG, Mr. R. Balakrishnan. He is an icon of knowledge and experience. He has more than 37 years of experience in handling various projects in the construction sector of commercial buildings. He has been with LNT Construction for 27 years. His expertise includes electrical, ELV, FEMS, PHE, HVAC, and CFD systems. He is shining for years as the brightest star and has done various types of projects such as hospitals, data centers, airports, stadiums, etc. He is also the present chairman of Focus, Chennai chapter, adding a feather in his cap. On a gist, he is a trendsetter which describes his excellency. Without further ado, I would like to welcome RBK, sir. The dais is yours, sir. Thank you for that introduction. Yeah, I'm, it's a great honor to be here to take this program forward. A respected Chief Guest KP Sion, he has seen a lot of uh, safeties across projects, uh, widely experienced in all types of projects. Of course, uh, G. Bhavani, our guest of honor, she's a star ward in BIS Codel committees. She has a lot of ideas when she talked to me also. She's booming with a lot of ideas to improve the codal compliances of the country. Of course, Gopal Kumar, he's been single-handedly trying to lead the electrical codal practices, proper codal practices of the country, and that is how we have formed the NFE, and he's single-handedly taken this NFE to a greater height. I wish him all the best. And of course, Mr. Aparao, I've been with him for many inspections within our campus. He's a thorough man who examines the electrical safety to the core and to the, he spends a lot of time. I think I remember when I went for inspection for TC3, we almost spent four hours trying to check the safety of the thing. So that's, that's the thorough knowledge he has. So a lot of talented people on the stage and uh, my beloved LNTites, Surya Prakash is again seen a lot of projects, infrastructure projects, uh, and uh, Pratik Datta, Chidambaram, and many others, Padmanad and others have seen a lot of things. So, and delegates from NFP, event sponsors, they are the key to making this program successful, and all the engineers and others in the hall. Very good morning on this sunny day. I welcome you all, and we at LNT, we're very keen to organize this two-day workshop focusing on electrical codes for the first time in our campus in association with NFP, BIS, and CAA. BIS and CAA have been supporting this course a lot, so we are excited about it. And I, being a personal in electrical engineer, is equally excited to participate in this uh, and learn what are the new changes in this NEC 
2023. We dedicate this seminar to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. I'll say a quote from him. I have an aim in life, continuously acquire knowledge, work hard, and have perseverance to realize the great life. This is a quote by Dr. our Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. So India is now on a path of sustainable development and infrastructure development is uh, scaling a greater height and it's going to progress, a lot of opportunities and electricity is the key for all this development and all wherever you do the infrastructure project, we need generation of electricity, conversion, transmission, distribution and utilization. All this is required for all the infrastructure board projects. This code, NEC code, was initially formed in 1985, upgraded in 2011 to include aspects like PV, PV power supply systems. That was the key thing that time. But of course, now there are a lot of new technologies, new requirements, which has caught up very fast in this country and ab abroad. So it was found to needed to be changed. And that is where this team had helped to change, led by Gopakumar to uh, 2023. A lot of changes in that. I think I'm sure all of you will come to know about that fully in this program. The changes are for good and that is to make our India a safe place from all safety of electrical and other things. So some of it has become mandatory. That is what is to be noted from this code and uh, taken forward. Because a lot of incidents, if you see in the papers, the first thing, any safety accident or anything, first thing uh, is the electrical. They say it's because of short circuit, we have lost life. I mean, as a designer, I, I, we should not allow that to happen. Because we always design the products or the systems to be safe from electrical short circuit. But when we see in the papers, uh, this sort of incidents comes. That means we are not following some of the codes which prescribes this such things. So this task of NAC revision was taken by as a, in the committee as ETD 20. No, so of course led by uh, Gopu Kumar with a lot of help from others like Aparo and other technical technocrats in the country. And this version uh, has has come out well. I mean, I just gone through it, and it also gives some space for integration because with civil and structural and architectural, that aspect also is covered in this code, which is very important in the present day projects. I'm sure all the participants and including me will have a good takeaway from this two day workshop of NEC 2023. I request all the participants to put down their questions and get, get it clarified. I mean, when they go out of this uh, auditorium, they should be very clear what this code needs uh, and it's to be implemented across for all the projects. Once again, I welcome all of you for this fantastic two-day workshop and all the best. Thank you. Many thanks to you, sir.